Welcome to the He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 136.2. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released August 27th, 2014, beginning alphabetically with Adventures of Superman number 16. As citizens of Earth flee to the stars, Commandi tells the story of Superman's earliest defeat, one that haunted him for years. Don't miss this epic adventure spanning the entirety of Superman's lifetime from an all-star roster of talent. Next we have All-Star Western number 34, final issue. Time has finally caught up with Hex as he battles to the death against his worst enemy, Jonah Hex. We've also got Aquaman number 34. The ruthless Chimera has arrived to destroy Aquaman, and Arthur may not be powerful enough to stop him. But with Atlantis in turmoil, does he have any allies left to save him? Next we have Batman 66 number 14, crime never sleeps, but even Batman can be on call 24-7, so the Cape Crusader introduces an ally who never needs rest, a futuristic bat robot. Astounding both Gotham City's criminals and its police force, the chrome-plated crime fighter proves to be incredibly efficient, so much so that the dreaded question must be asked, is it time for Batman and Robin to retire? We've also got Batman Beyond Universe number 13. Superstar artist Phil Hester joins the Beyond team for the start of a brand new storyline, and the answers to the big questions of what really happened between Bruce Wayne and Terry McGinnis start to be revealed here. Plus, the Phantasm returns. Next, we have Batman Eternal number 21. After being injected with fear toxin, Alfred is dragged away to Arkham Asylum. We've also got Batman Superman number 13, a new arc begins following the events of First Contact. The worlds of Batman and Superman come to an explosive clash as something terrible happens to the world's finest team, and a dark knight who is not quite himself must team up with Lois Lane to find a missing Man of Steel. Meanwhile, Selina Kyle encounters a person of amazing strength who has no idea who he is. Next, we have Bodies number 2 of 8, with four bodies lying on mortuary slabs. Speculation mounts from a century ago to the present day as to the identity of the victim. In wartime Britain and a forgetful future, however, living strangers are causing confusion. A hooker's kiss, a fine young cannibal, a fascist mob, and a suspect who literally falls from the heavens will send muddy ripples through history. The time-traveling serial killer story heats up. We've also got Catwoman number 34. It's buyer beware when Selina purchases a new house, but Catwoman is much more interested in the treasure that lies beneath the property. Next we have Dead Boy Detectives number 8. After Charles and Crystal pledge to help one another in their investigations, no matter the cost, the duo sets out to prove that Charles' father did not murder Charles' mother and to find out whether Crystal really can bring her lost friend Rosa back from beyond the grave. Meanwhile, Edwin might discover the key to these mysteries, if he can break Tibetan monk Lobsang out of a trance so deep he stopped breathing in 2012. We've also got Flash number 34. Time is getting closer as future Flash reaches the point that broke his spirit, Wally West's death. While Wally meets his uncle Daniel, the reverse Flash, and Barry Allen is trapped in the middle. Next we have Harley Quinn number 10. The first rule of Skate Club is you do not miss with the Mistress of Mayhem. Harley stumbles across an underground fight club where big money winds with a body count. She's in and she's making Cyborg Man her agent for the fights. But what happens when love gets in the way? Next we have He-Man and the Masters of the Universe number 16. Wanted, He-Man and Adora. After reaching the mystical island man Watgar, He-Man and Adora are still on the run from Hordak and his villainous horde. And He-Man can't shake the suspicion they're being hunted, but by whom? Fan favorite villain Triclops returns in the last chapter of the origin of She-Ra. Next we have Injustice Gods Among Us Year 2 number 10. As the attack on Green Lanterns continues, things turn personal between Hal Jordan and Guy Gardner. At a turning point in the battle between former allies, Sinestro offers Hal a deadly choice. Meanwhile, the battle at the Hall of Justice may have come at a fatal price. We've also got Justice League Dark number 34. Dead Man's secret backstory is revealed and the JLD battles Pantheon for the soul of paradise. Next we have New 52 Futures End number 17, Who is the Mass Superman? What does his identity have to do with last week's startling ending? The answers will shock you as the entire New 52 gets ready to jump five years into the future. We've also got Red Lanterns number 34, Guy Garner vs. Atrocitus. The future of the Red Lanterns will be decided by the winner, and the loser faces certain death. Next, we have Secret Origins number 5. The latest explosive origins from DC Comics The New 52 include Cyborg by Marv Wolfman and Andre Colio, Red Hood by Scott Lobdell and Paolo Sequera, 
and Mara by Jeff Parker and the art team of Alvaro Martinez and Raul Fernandez. We've also got Sinestro number five. Sinestro and Hal Jordan have a score to settle, but they won't get a chance before the deadly cult of anti-emotion, the Palling, attacks. Plus the answer to the question everyone's been asking, where's Parallax? Next we have Star Spangled War Stories featuring G.I. Zombie number two. An undercover operation exposes a guided missile terrorist plot, and the only thing in its way is a zombie with an AK-47. And we've got Superman number 34. Jeff Johns and John Romita Jr. continued their epic Superman run with The Men of Tomorrow Chapter 3, introducing the bizarre villain known as the Machinist, a man behind the recent technological attacks on Metropolis. But what is his strange connection to Superman? Where is he from, and what does the Machinist want with the Daily Planet? Plus, the mystery behind the disaster at the Ulysses Research Lab sends Clark on an investigation that will reveal a dark secret from his past. Out in trades this week, we've got DC Universe vs. the Masters of the Universe trade paperback. When He-Man and friends go in search of Skeletor on Earth, they find themselves at odds with the heroes of the DC Universe. Can these heroes stop Skeletor and his mysterious new master? Collects the six-issue miniseries plus DC Comics Presents number 47. Next, we have Fables Volume 20 Camelot trade paperback. Rose Red takes the mantle of Paladin of Hope to rally the Fables in the tragic aftermath of Snow White. A new Dark Age calls for a new round table, with modern knights willing to take on a sacred quest to reassemble the shattered pieces of Fable Town. This new volume collects issues 131 to 136 of this multiple Eisner Award winning series. And we've got Green Lantern New Guardians Volume 4 Gods and Monsters trade paperback. The Templar Guardians have been locked away for millennia and now they need Kyle Rayner's help. But once he sees the strange anomaly lurking at the edge of known space, he may have no choice but to get on board with their mission. Don't miss these tales from Green Lantern New Guardians number 21 through 27 and Green Lantern Annual number 2. Okay, so that's it for DC this week, but of course there's still plenty of other books out this week too, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for the week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.